Turn up to this one, Worcester Bosch 30 SI, fast flash. I always say fast flash is a fan because nine out of 10 times it is. But we're gonna whip out parts arena, type in the GC number, it's 4731185. It's a little bit sad that I know that off by hand. We're gonna go to installation instructions. We're gonna go down to fault finding. We're gonna click that, it's gonna take us straight to the chart. We're gonna scroll down to fast flash. So it's fast flash and the reset button wasn't flashing. So it says volatile lockout fan does not run. So there's loads of things for us to check. Temperature sensors, conditions of leads, fan, etc. Let's see if it flashes straight away or whether there's a delay. So I'm going to press reset on the boiler. I know when it's the fan, you turn it back on. There'll be a fast flash. You reset it and then it will stay solid blue until there's a demand and then it will start flashing. But we'll see what this one does. We'll press reset. So it doesn't wait for a demand, it goes straight to fast flash, so it's not the fan. Let's whip that case off. I don't do I told you so's, but if I did, there's a GC. Rarely ever use the multimeter, but we're going to give it a go now. The first stat I'm going to check is the domestic hot water sensor, just because it's the easiest one to get to, and because I've got one in my bag. So let's see what the reading is. Absolutely no resistance whatsoever. The brand new one in my bag is reading completely different. So I'm going to plug that in and try it just to be 110% sure. Also, just for the record, when it says check temperature sensors, it could be the overheat on the top, the flu stat, all that. It makes a big loop. And when the boiler first starts up, that's what it checks to make sure the sensors are okay. Whereas if it was a fan fault, it'd be solid blue light until there was demand, then it would flash. Green light means go. It means that was a sensor that was faulty. I'm gonna turn the cold off underneath. Use some grips to pop the pin out. Also use the grips to pop the sensor out. That's in better days, I know. Plenty of lube on the new one and just pop it in. Don't forget to pop that clip down or you'll get wet. Reconnect the hose I disconnected. Turn the cold water back on. So that's all good to go. Another one up and running, happy days.